Got them freaks. It's good for you. Yo, what's going on you guys? This is Pete coming back with another awesome video and today we're gonna continue to play Days Gone. This is gonna be part 67, I think, of our amazing journey here with Dick and San John. Now, guys, we are back at Lost Lake. For those of you who haven't seen the previous episode, I urge you to go and watch it and then go back to this one. Now, uh, just to brief you up real quick, for those of you who just wanted to continue, um, obviously last episode was pretty emotional. I might have uh, passed. Uh, we've been... Basically, we've escaped from where we were up north, back to here, Um Kenu completely messed up in the brain. He wanted to hang us. Um, I'm hoping Sarah is fine. Now, Captain Curry actually, uh, he um, saved our life, basically. And uh, he, yeah, he, he asked us to go with him, but because he also escaped from the camp because he obviously starts seeing that Captain is really messed up in the brain. So, you know, took some uh, guys and uh, they, they went... Um, uh, to another direction now as you can see I've got my ring back uh, we've got our ring back guys and uh, yeah uh, problem is um, that cap uh, the uh, no captain the colonel has a massive um, massive army really and they are pretty organized they got a lot of gear and uh, yeah they can technically swat us here uh, <laughs> swat us they can uh, you know storm us here they already came in once but I think he sent only some people. Now, uh, all of this have happened because obviously that rat Schizo um, somehow find himself into that camp where we just escaped from. And he basically said, oh yeah, yeah, this is a traitor, you know, he pointed at Deacon. Uh, but anyways, um, also what I've noticed, guys, I've noticed one thing. Look at that. Lava Cave Horde. 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 Horde everywhere look how many different hordes is there it wasn't like that in the last episode i don't know there must have been a patch or some sort i didn't even realize but it seems like we're gonna be we not gonna be able to finish that quick we still have some missions for copeland we still have some missions for tucker over here um, you know, there's still some, um, like, narrow checkpoints here, which I haven't yet done, and there seems to be a lot of these horde places where I believe, uh, well, it's gonna be basically a lot of zombies to kill. Um, so yeah, I've just uploaded, I've just updated some skill points, and yeah, we just, you know, we're just gonna keep going, guys, we're just gonna keep going. Uh, so what we're gonna do in this episode is we are going to return to the Iron Mike's camp. Mm, keep them safe, 5% horde killer. Whoa, that's crazy, bro. I don't know where we're supposed to go, but I'm just quickly gonna do this. It's it, it's probably gonna be like a quick mission or so, like a you know li little side thing going on. And yeah, so it seems like we're still gonna be able to do some upgrades. We're still gonna be able to do some stuff. I don't know. Where the hell's my ratchet wrench? Can never find anything. Well, it's it's kind of weird. It does point in us here, yeah. but we can't really do. A whole bunch. Maybe we just gotta take up on uh, the main mission, uh, bros. So we're just gonna do a main one. Okay? We're just gonna do a main one. But before we do that, let me see what we can buy. Let me see what we can do. Um, first of all, our bike. Can we do... Yeah. yeah, it's pretty good, bro. Uh, performance. Can we do... Can you do me something more? I don't think you can. I think our bike is pimped out pretty much. Yeah, you know? I don't... Yeah, the only thing he can do is the, 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 the final saddle, which, you know, we do need uh, level level 3 trust for that. So uh, we're gonna, we're gonna get going with the final saddle. I mean, the bike looks absolutely badass, if you ask me. So 
I don't really worry a whole bunch about this. Um, let me see what we can do. Let me see what we can do here. Uh, can we? How's my favorite bounty hunter? Oh, is that so? Where? How you doing? Supplies. Give me some supplies, maybe. Do we need some? Hmm, that should work. Here you go. Mm, it'd be nice if we can purchase health. Okay. Flashbang. Okay. Well, whatever. Anyways, let's start up on this mission, man. Um. Yo, that looks serious. That looks serious. We've got a whole armored car. Look at that. Back up. Hey, Deke. Hey. Uh, what's this? Oh, ask him. Well, that truck's as big as a tank, right? Uh huh. I figured. Might as well turn her into one. Holy hmm. shit. <laughs> uh, is this ready? Well, let's see, Deke. Wow. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> She's ready. Time to fill it Whoa. Up. I know where to find some fertilizer. I'll radio when I'm ready. Okay. That is crazy. I wonder about the freaker sometimes, you know? Like, yeah, me too. Do they feel pain? Anything? They probably don't. Oh, they might. I don't know. I'm hoping they do, you know. I'm hoping they do. 1.9 kilometer. Okay, well, we're gonna grab our bike. I really don't know what's with those hordes. Are we, like, every so often gonna be seeing a horde? Is that what it is, basically, right now? Um, or is it only when you like click that you want to get the horde? I already wonder how it's gonna Deacon be. We'll Saint see. John. How have you been? Buzz, oh, good, buddy. Right. Well, we should be a lot better, you know. I did uh, do some okay. updates here and there, so um, I mean, I'm thinking we are pretty alright on. So what's your Literally ever we can find all the fertilizer we need over at the Iron Butte Ranch. Iron Butte Ranch? Yeah, I mean, it's not like... Let me see where we are on the map. Yeah, we would literally need to go around. Jesse and his rippers are gonna need it anymore. I mean, this place used to be a golf resort, yeah? They've got a, a maintenance area, you know, lawnmowers and the... Fertilizer. Goddamn right. Yeah, I'm gonna head over there right now. But it's clear. I'm gonna radio you and Ricky to bring the truck in. You got it, brother. All right, loose her out. <gasps> what the heck I just done? What the heck? Yo! So, uh, what what I was here? thinking, bro. Yeah, yeah, Ricky, I'm here. But look, our bro, bike is... Dude, Thank relax. You for coming back to help us. Well, I'm just sorry I was too late. We kind of had no choice. We had to come back. Hey, I haven't lost her yet. We're building a really big bomb, remember? Well, we're glad to have you back. Lost lady needs you. Hey, Ricky. Uh. It wasn't his fault, you know. Uh, Iron Mike. I mean, he was—he was only trying to do the right thing. Ricky, help. All right, we'll see what it is. tried to stop him. I did. I'm shooting Iron Mike. I did not want it to go down like that, bro. Captain, the colonel wants to see you right away. Yeah, yeah, look, I'll tell him I'll be right there. 
Captain, didn't take you long to lie your way into a promotion. This army crap is all bullshit and you know it. But bro, you gotta listen to me. I'm not your bro, Schizo. Fair enough. I just wanted you to know. Look, when Corey busted you out the Colonel, he went crazy. Thought she was in on it. He lost his mind. He went after Lieutenant Whitaker. He's a killer, Deke. Deke! But I stopped him, baby. I did. I told him that all that poison shit she's cooking up, maybe we use it to kill the freaks, but maybe we don't. Maybe there's an enemy camp. Maybe they got one water supply. Maybe dumping a gallon of hemlock into that. Maybe that solves a lot of problems. Anyway, the Colonel, he likes that idea. So he puts me in charge of the Ark. Wants me to keep it safe. She reports to me now, Deke. To me. What do you want, Schizo? Bro, I just wanted to warn you. They're coming. I can't stop them. They're coming, and this time, this time the Colonel's bringing the whole damn house. Uh, well, let him. We're not going anywhere. And when he comes, this time, we'll be ready for him. Hey, Deke. Captain, the Colonel's waiting. I'll be there, goddammit! Now get out! Hey, Deke. Look, I gotta go. But, uh, I'll tell Lieutenant Whitaker that you send your best wishes. Captain Sarkozy signing off. This guy got some serious nerve to do that, you know. I mean, I'm really hoping that by the end of the game or earlier, we will be able to deliver justice to this guy. And I'm really hoping that the justice we're going to deliver is not going to be as simple as a bullet to the head. I'm really hoping that this guy is going to be able to suffer a little bit. Okay, I know it may sound bad, but at this stage, um, you know, he is he is an awful person, you know, he is an awful person and he deserves to be punished, like, you know what I mean? Uh, yeah, so. However, it's nice to it's nice of him to you know to say that. Might be useful. It's nice of him to uh, to warn us, you know. Oh, nice! We've got a lot of stuff. Yeah, that's cool. So, um, can't believe that's the place. There's a lot of those uh, runners, I see. Yo, what is this? Clear the horde? No, I don't want to clear the horde, thank you very much.
Oh, uh, shit. No, it's a horde. It's a horde. I'm gonna have to clear this before oh. Ricky can get in, or she's gonna pull them all down on us. Hey, Boozer, uh, tell Ricky it's, uh, it's gonna be a while, because there's a horde feeding ground right in our way. Horde? Want me and Ricky to head out there? Come and help? No, no, no! I've already learned the hard way. It's better to take them on alone. That way we don't pull them down on each other. Yeah, yeah, okay. Besides, I mean, Ricky says that, uh, you're head of security now, right? So don't you gotta, I don't know, like, stick around camp, polish your badge, order people around, shit like that. Yeah, right. I forgot to ask Mike for a badge. I... Uh, anyway, now that Mike's gone, you know, maybe they'll vote someone else in. Let me go back to pulling weeds. <laughs> Not likely. Yeah. Wouldn't be no skin off my nose. Well, let me know when you're ready. Ricky wants to get the show on the road. Who's her out? Right, so, um, guys, we do have a horde in here, um, and yeah, we're gonna have to uh, improvise. Now, let me just look around what we have here. Um, I mean, in the end, I can see there is a lot of, I don't know how big the horde is, but there is a lot of stuff we could do. For example, let's use our lovely proximity bombs, you know? I should do the trick. gonna make we're gonna set a couple of traps not too many because there is a lot of stuff to shoot don't know if that will work um, what else we can do here? Yes. So you see, we can take them all through this tight spots like this. So that is all good. And then as we run, yes, yeah, so I reckon we can we can take a hold like you know, no problem. I just need to start thinking where would be the best place um, to start with them. And I don't think this is like a super massive one as well. Yeah. I don't know if this is like a super massive one to be fair with you. So I don't think it's gonna be that hard um, to try to pull them, pull them off, you know. I did not realize that, bro. That is some crazy situation, if you ask me. Right, we're gonna start this again. Not a problem. Oh, shit! No, it's a horde. It's a horde. 
I'm gonna have to clear this before Ricky can get in, or she's gonna pull them all down on us. Hey, Boozer, uh, tell Ricky it's, uh, it's gonna be a while, because there's a horde feeding ground right in our way. Horde? Want me and Ricky to head out there? Come and help? No, no, no! Oh, I've already learned the hard way. It's better to take them on alone. That way we don't pull them down on each other. Yeah, yeah, okay. Besides, I mean, Ricky says that, uh, you're head of security now, right? So, don't you gotta, I don't know, like, stick around camp, polish your badge, order people around, shit like that. Yeah, right. I forgot to ask Mike for a badge. I... Uh, anyway, now the Mike's gone. You know, maybe they'll vote someone else in. Let me go back to pulling weeds. <laughs> Dude, not likely. Wouldn't be no skin off of my nose. Well, let me know when you're ready. Ricky wants to get the show on the road. Who's her up? Right this way. Okay, we are surviving guys. We got half of the horde gone But we gotta go because if we're not gonna go we're gonna be in a serious situation So we're gonna try to pull them here. We'll see if we can do that Yes Got them freaks. Oi! 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 Oh yeah! No! 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 Fuck you! You mother trackers! Jesus Christ, are you even serious?
Stop it! Oi, oi, oi! Why there is so many of you? Jesus Christ, stop screaming, you crazy! Wow. Okay, it wasn't so bad. It wasn't so bad. We got it on a second take. But, like, guys, really. I mean, seriously. I ain't gonna lie. It would be nice if we could run a little bit faster. Let's get all the ears. Dude. Are you serious, bro? Are you seriously serious? I mean, that is some unimaginable, unimaginable situations. Let's get some, um, Jesus. Dude, that is literally crazy. Now, thanks God that we've had some of this, because, I mean, I thought that inf clearing infestation zones was difficult. But clearing infestation zones is nothing compared to this. Like, trying to get a horde like that, it's pretty challenging, I'm gonna be honest with you. Even though... Okay, even though... Uh, we've had all this... You know, equipment that helped us to technically, and all this terrain here, obviously, it's very convenient. Um, all this terrain here is very, very convenient. Um, but, like, literally, dude, that is crazy as heck. You know what I mean? Wow. Seriously, dude. Um, okay, though. So, let's do the thing. Three hundred meters, let's see what's there. I am going to look around here. Use this. Because obviously I can see that there is stuff here all over the place. That we could possibly use. I did not know that all of this can be... We can just shoot that, basically. And that helps already. That does the job. That's a good thing to know. Right, let's see what waits for us over here. Hey! I need what the hell is that? A little gift from Wiki. Still can't ride a bike, but I can shift the hell out of these gears. Wow. I uh, pull it over there. Okay, that's kind of cool. Okay. Oh, that ought to be enough. All right, what's next? <sighs> creosote. How ready you again when I'm ready? Where the hell are we gonna get a hundred gallons of creosote? You don't want to know. Okay. Keep them safe. Fifty-one percent done. We still 
don't have level 3 trust, even though we did all this. Okay, that's fine. Um, let's look around here. Deke, I need to talk to you. Ricky, what's wrong? Uh, militia. What? Where? Boozer thinks they might be planning another attack, so he asked me to send you to take a look. Goddamn militia. Yeah, I got this. <sighs> Thank God. I'll let Boozer know. Ricky out. Now, let's just look around this place real quick. Copeland, Deacon St. John, come in. Really? Deke, you out there? Yeah, bro. Hey, Cope. Yeah, let me guess. You got a job for me. Okay. Uh, I'll swing by when I get a chance. Deacon out. I need scrap. We need all of it. Well, I think that's really it. Oh, there was something there. There we go. More scrap. And as we already know, scrap is very good. Uh, righty, guys. So let me see what we've got. Uh, wow. Okay. Mission X storylines. The last of them. Kill every one of the bastards. And what is that? Another m militia attack. Um... And then, whoa, we got stuff going on for Copeland's come has been attacked. Yo, dude. Okay, so we're obviously going to have to get rid of this colonel, dude, because, yeah, he's messed up to the brain. Anyways, uh, guys, thanks so much for tuning into this episode. Really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, you already know what to do. Like and share. For those of you who are new to my channel, I would appreciate you guys on board. So do click that subscribe button and also follow the bell so you never miss any uploads from me. Go and watch my other videos, uh, see what's going on, check me out on DLive, and I will see you guys pretty soon with another video. Peace out. Peace.